Hi! Uh, I just wanted to let you know that the following tutorial I filmed yesterday but uh, I actually ran out of space on my memory card and my battery went flat on my camera and I didn't have time to charge it and do all the, the rest of the hoo-ha um, and also get the wig dressed for my customer to pick up. So the following video is just of me doing a basic set um, but I thought I'd still post it because some people have still um, express that they wanted to uh, to know how to do this so uh, yeah I do apologize there's no comb up afterwards but the basic set is still the basic set that will be used you know for almost everything that I do in the future so um, I thought I'd still post it all right enjoy the video well hello Jupiter Hala I know you're doing fine hi how are you so good to see you again I'm sorry it's been so long since my last two tutorial. Um, I had a really old slow computer and it just took forever to edit all the videos and everything like that and blah 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 blah. So anyway, today I'm going to teach you uh, how to do a basic set. Um, I'm doing a wig for the lovely Tor Hyman um, and I'm going to show you the photo that she has uh, requested. Uh, now, go. Ta-da! Um, this is a wig I did for her uh, about a year ago, and actually I don't remember how I did it, but I'm going to try and recreate it. Um, but to do it requires just a basic set, which you can do for almost any style. Once you know this set, you just alter it slightly, or we'll vary it, and, um, and you can really do anything you want with it. So we're going to start with a, <clears throat> a new Honey Child Torah. Now, I haven't blocked this properly because it's a new wig, I haven't cut the lace, but if you have cut your lace, um, then please block your wigs properly and look after them. Uh, you can see that, I've done another video on that, so you can see that uh, already. Uh, let me just move that up a little bit. So I'm going to cut this, so I'm going to start by cutting it. Um, a really easy way of cutting it. Uh, uh, I'll do it on this side. Part the hair. Now you can go and be your fancy, you can... You can do it section by section, but I do it a cheap way. With this style anyway. All I do is take a point on the block, which is I'm going to use the base of this, and that's going to be my guide. And then I'm just going to literally get my scissors, hold it down. Don't pull it too tight because you'll stretch the lace and you make different lengths of the hair. Just just keep it nice and even. Oh, excuse me, I burnt. Uh, and then just take the scissors and cut along that guideline. Ta-da! Put that all the way around. There you have it. Ta-da! A new freshly cut wig. Um, if you use those guidelines, you can't really go wrong. So, so today I'm using a variety of rollers. I'm using a large one on top, and then I'm going down to a yellow, a, a, a white. And then if I feel like it, if I think it needs it, I'll go down to a green right at the bottom. Um, but we'll stick with those ones for the moment. So the basic set is uh, very easy, very simple. Um, it's really just two sections. The first section is split the hair from ear to ear and the front part is the first section and the back part is the second section. The front section is split up into two sections. So part the hair where you want it and then split your hair up. You can use roll, you can, you can use little clips and stuff like that if you want um, which I will do for you now just to show you the sections but I don't really usually use them. So. <clears throat> okay, so I've got my sections. Section, the, the front part has been put aside. And that's the back section that you can see. We're going to start with the, the, the front first, so we'll get rid of that back. Just put some clips in there to hold it out of your way. I'll take that one out so I don't need that in there now. 
Okay, and we start. The first roll up always goes in the hairline and the front two rollers here are the only ones that go in a different direction to everything else, okay? And this is to get a really nice, smooth, sort of draggy wave. I like to do it in all my wigs. So put that there on an angle, little pie section, lift it up, brush it nice and smoothly. And then, stick it on. do I want that roller? Yeah, no, yes, I'll use that roller. Put your hair in, roll it down. Then using a little T-pin, pin it in. Oh. Ah. Do the same on that side, little pie shape, triangle pie shape, and roll that forward as well. No point on it. Bastard. Uh, uh, there we are. Done. Okay, so once we have our first two in, in place, then we can follow through the rest. Now, literally just take, I'll just put this down. There's your, there's your top section there. And they're all gonna go rolling down that way. So pick up your hair. Pick up a size, um, a size of the section, the size of your roller. I'm using Velcro rolls here only because I've got um, a lot of them and I need them for the top. But you can use any size you want, or any type of roller, sorry, as long as it's the right size. Now it's very important that when you roll your hair around the roller, that you don't get any fish hooks. So it means that the ends are nice and smooth. So what I do, a little technique that I use, is I find the shortest length of hair, which is about here in this wig because it's nice and layered and makes it nice and soft and fluffy and bouncy, but it does make it tricky to roll. So put your roll in at that shortest point of the length and then roll, wrap the rest around it. And as you wrap, you hold and then get your tail comb and flick those ends under so they're all nice and smooth. And as you roll, keep flicking under. Just to ensure that those ends are nice and smooth and they don't Get little fish hookies. Ah! Do that all the way down, and then we'll get to the next side. So, now I have done the front sections. Um, I know I told you that these two are the only ones that go a different direction they roll forward. I lied. That one goes forward as well. That'll give you a nice sweep at the front there on the side and expose that ear. Um, now, I have varied the size of roller as I go down, starting big and up a bit smaller, just for the length of the hair for the style. Now, you can just, you know, decide what you want to do. Um, every sort of wig requires, every style requires a different size roller depending on the, the desired look. So if you want a, a tighter curl, just use smaller rollers. Just always remember that the roller, um, the amount of hair that you put in the roller is the same size as the roller, the section. Does that make sense? Anyway. Um, okay, now all we need to do now is go to the back and we literally just take section by section and brick the rollers all the way down. And I'll show you that when I'm finished. Okay, so now that that's finished, as you can see, I've just bricked all the way, that all the way down. Um, don't worry too much if it's not perfectly neat. The days of me wanting my sets to look beautiful and neat are long over. As long as the hair's all nice and smooth underneath and you know the result's gonna be good, don't worry about the look of it on top. No one's gonna see this, except all of you. <laughs> anyway, um, so whenever I speak about, in the future, whenever I speak about a basic um, a roller set, this is what it is. So it's just really, really straightforward, very classic, basic set. And you'll find that everything I do is based on this set, um, with a few variations, like I said before. And like I said before as well, just to reiterate, um, I have used different size rollers going all the way down. Just use whatever you feel necessary for the style you're trying to achieve. But for this particular style, this is what I need you to do. Okay, and now we've come to the fun steaming part. 
Now, this is my least favorite part of wig dressing. I hate it so much, it's so boring. But anyway, so buy yourself a steamer. I got this one from Kmart for $50 and like, it's fine. It's not amazing, but it does the job. Um, so you definitely need one of these. Um, go through and steam every roller very thoroughly, step by step, roller by roller, very methodically. Like I said, super boring, but a good way to keep yourself amused is to do spots while you're doing it. That's all done now, it's all steamed. So now I'm gonna put it in the oven to, uh, to bake it, to dry it. Um, I use like a little pie oven, uh, which is a nice little handy thing. But if you don't have something like that, you can use like a hood dryer or you know, one of those things you attach to your, your hair dryer and stick it over. 